Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. So today we're doing like a little bit of a vlog style video. First of all, apologies for the lighting. The lighting is so shocking. We're not filming in the makeup room today. We're actually in our like spare room. We'll become Ali's man cave. Um, but right now it's my Ibiza packing room, okay? So I've got all my makeup in front of me. I'm gonna show you what I'm taking to Ibiza, like skincare, makeup, body, everything like that. Um, so we fly out in two days for my best friend's Hindu. Um, I'm maid of honour, so a lot of things are going in my case, which is going to make things heavier, um, maid of honour duties. So I'm trying to keep, <laughs> I'm trying to keep everything a little bit condensed this year when it comes to beauty, but I definitely can't go out there without all my skincare and things like that. You guys know how important it is to me. Um... By the way, I've just tinted my brows this morning, so if they're looking a little bit thick, that's why. So yeah, we're gonna sort of like, I've brought things into this room, which I know are like my absolute favorite things, um, but I'm gonna try and narrow it down a little bit. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you anything like hen related because Miss Emily Freeman may watch this video. It's your hen weekend and you're not getting any sneak peeks. Thank you very much. This is what I'm going to be taking with me. This is how I'm going to pack it, everything like that. I literally want everything packed, done, ready today. So let's get into it. So this is the current chaos of what we're dealing with. It's also 28 degrees outside and I've got a cup of tea. Let's not talk about it. Um, so I found this little Mac bag that I got free from Look Fantastic and I thought this would be great for like liners and pencils. I've got these empty bottles from Primark um, that I'm going to put all my skincare in. I've, they're my Yorkshire tea bags. <laughs> Guys, you will not catch me going anywhere without Yorkshire tea bags. If I am forced to drink PG tips or Tetley, I'm not going to be happy, especially when I've got an hangover. So let's forget about those. We've got all sorts of like body, shower, hair. Um, there's just all sorts in here. We've, we've got loads of makeup. Um, so we're going to get into it. We're going to sort it all out. So the way that I actually like to go about packing things is actually do a list and I'll go through my routine. So the first thing that I do on a night is double cleanse. So my first cleanser will always be a cleansing balm. Now, luckily, I found a miniature version of my absolute favourite Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm in my collection. I don't know where this is from. I think it's from an advent calendar. Guys, if you get any, like, beauty advent calendars at Christmas or anything like that, save the minis for when you go away. Do not use them. Don't be tempted. If you know you're going away, please save them because, honestly... I love taking minis away with me, so I'm going to take uh, this with me because it's my absolute favourite. And then my second step is a second cleanse. So I think I actually have this mini Estee Lauder Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Foam. A little cat trying to get in this room. <laughs> Simsy, I will cuddle soon. <laughs> I will cuddle soon. Wow, tell me you've got a needy cat without telling me you've got a needy cat. So yeah, I have this Estee Lauder one, but I don't even think this is going to be enough because I need it for my morning cleanse as well. So the one that I'm using at the moment is the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Facial Wash. I really love this, so I think I'm going to put it in one of these Primark bottles, maybe that one. Obviously, I don't need to fill it up all the way because I'm not going to use that much when I'm there, but maybe like about to here, maybe? I think I'm going to do that. That can go in there just because I don't feel like this is going to be enough because it is really, really tiny. So we'll just pop that to the side. Um, then we have toner. So toner, um, the one that I'm using at the moment is again the Kiehl's Calendula. Right, that's absolutely drenched my hand. Did not realise that was half open. So yeah, this is the one that I'm using at the moment. And I have this little, what's this one? Micro Essence Skin Activating Treatment Lotion. So that's an essence. Um, I've got this Declior Facial Toner. I think I'm going to take this instead because I really, really like this toner from Declior. I've used it for years. Um, it's really, really nice. So I think I'm going to take that. And that is probably a good amount. Like I probably won't even use all that while I'm away. So definitely putting that over there. Next up is Essence. Now, this is my absolute favourite Essence of all time. This is the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment. 
I can't even explain to you how nice this is. I feel like I actually can't live without this and I feel like I need to take it with me. So I definitely think I'm going to decant it into this bottle or even the spray bottle. I feel like the spray bottle is really, really good. I think I'm going to put in the spray bottle. Um, I have got this Estee Lauder Essence, but I haven't used it before and I don't want to really use anything that's like quite new to me just in case it reacts with my skin or anything like that so um yeah i think i'm gonna keep it with the fresh one then after essence we have serum so i actually found a mini estee lauder advanced night repair um so i think i'm gonna take that but i also have these elizabeth arden advanced ceramide capsules I think I'm just going to take the Estee Lauder because I know it's good. Again, there was literally no point in me putting like all these new things in here. Um, and then we have my moisturiser, which is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. But I'm definitely decanting that into this because that is my go-to. That's my favourite. Um, SPF, this is the one that I'm taking for my face. Um, SPF 50 Plus Garnier. This is really nice under makeup as well. Really, really like that one. Then for eye cream, I've got a couple of options. Um, this is the one that I'm currently using, but this is so heavy. So I don't think I'm going to take that. Um, I don't know if to take Ola Henriksen or Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. I think I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury one because it's smaller. I've got loads to pack. So I think this is all the skincare that I'm going to be taking. Um, I'm going to decan all this into the bottles. I don't even think it's got labels. We've got moisturiser label and we've got, oh, we've got a cleanser. So those are the only labels that we need, which is great. So I'm going to decan all this and then, yeah, we will be right back. <laughs> So guys, we've got the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, we've got my Kiehl's Facial Cleanser, that should be more than enough for how much I will use. Then we have my toner from Declio, the little mini one. Then we have my Essence, I've just labelled it as toner, putting all these in the bag. Um, Advanced Night Repair Serum, Moisturiser, that's the Kiehl's one, SPF which is my Garnier. I did actually want to take away the Fenty one, but you know what? The bottle is quite big and bulky and it's quite heavy. So I'm just taking my little Garnier one. By the way, these are all going in my case, not in my hand luggage, but um, it's just the weight that I'm concerned about because I'm literally taking like six pairs of shoes and all the hen party stuff. So yeah, just a bit concerned about the weight and then my eye cream in there. I do actually need a lip balm as well. Then I've just gone and got my Lano Lips 101 ointment. So that is all in the skincare bag. All ready to go, lids all on. Fabulous. So I, with the toner and the cleanser, I actually put a little bit extra in than I know that I would need. Um, just because I know what the girls are like. I know they're going to want a little bit of what my skincare and like what I've got on stuff. So I've made sure I've got enough for all three of us because I don't mind sharing. I don't care about things like that. So um, yes, all the skincare bag is packed and that is ready to go in my case. So guys, this is sort of like my body bag. Not not body bag, but you know what I mean? Like this is my body products bag. Um, these are anti back wipes. They need to go in my hand luggage actually. This is just one of the um, Elemis that you get with the um pro collagen cleansing balm i love these for taking away i've got one i need some more because we are going for the weekend um we're going for about three nights we've got three days three nights so you might be looking at this and thinking rebecca this is so excessive but trust me i need it all so we've got my little mini deodorant need that love that um this is my favorite after sun in the world but obviously this is quite big so i might put it in this little pump bottle i feel like that might be a good idea that'll make it so much lighter as well um and then for shampoo and conditioner i'm actually taking my minis that i got from look fantastic so these actually came in a limited edition box it was like a full Kerastase set. You've got these and then you've got, oh, I don't even know if it's here. You've got these four products. Um, they did like one for blondes, one for D3, 
damage i think it was i can't remember but yeah so um i got all these all in a box and i've literally saved them to take away because they're so good like you probably get about like i don't even know you know like four uses out of these two and then like so many out of these so basically we've got a shampoo this big one's a conditioner this is sort of like a leave-in blow dry treatment and then you've got like a heat protective leave-in cream so definitely definitely need to be taking these away with me and um, i'm obviously going to be washing my hair while i'm out there because i can't resist jumping in the pool i literally don't care if we're at ocean beach i will jump in the pool so got my shampoo and conditioners i've brought two lots of shower gel um, I've got a little white company one. Again, guys, saving the minis from Christmas. This is the pomegranate one. And then I've got the Sol de Janeiro one. Um, these have never been used. They're just minis that I've kept. Um, this one's from Look Fantastic as well. And this one's from Christmas. This was a gift. I'm taking these away because I am the shower gel gal. It's been my assignment to get the shower gel for the gals. So, yeah, I've got two shower gels. Um, I've got a mini got to be glued love this hairspray if I'm doing like a slick back pony which I more than likely will one night um, it's my absolute favorite so I'm definitely taking that so I am gonna take my Hawaiian Tropic and my fox tan just because I still wear SPF guys please don't think I don't wear SPF because I do um, we're only going for three days I want to get the most out of my tan so I'm gonna take these I'm not really that bothered I'll probably forget to put them on I know what I'm like but I'm going to take them regardless. And this is my body SPF. This is the Caudalie Beautifying Sun Care Oil. Really beautiful on the skin. I feel like this one would be really nice. Usually I wear P20, um, which is like that once a day one. But I feel like this would actually be really nice, you know, because it just makes your skin look beautiful, you know, because it's an oil. And I feel like because we're going to like a lot of beach clubs and stuff, um, that'd be really good. Then I have another hairspray. I don't need that. I do not need that hairspray. Um, dry shampoo. This is a mini living proof one I got from Look Fantastic. Insect repellent because I've had more bug bites this year than anything. <laughs> Let's have my little mini perfume. I was actually going to take this new Zara perfume that I got. It's really nice. It's called Citrus Meze or Citrus Mies or something like that. But do you know what? We're only going, it's such a big bottle and we're only going away for like three days, three nights. So I thought I'd take one of my miniatures and I really love this one. This is Scandal by Jean Paul Gaultier. Um, and I really like wearing perfumes that I've never worn before when I go on trips. So this is actually my mum's favourite perfume. And when I, when I smell this, it reminds me of my mum. You know, sometimes you want your mum, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm taking this with me. Um, I was also going to take my Sol de Janeiro one. But again, the bottle is so heavy. It, do you know what? Usually it wouldn't be a problem. But we've got, and I've got quite a lot of weight for my case. But it's just like all the stuff, all the other stuff that I've got packed. So yeah, I'm taking this. And then um, I've just got my toothbrush in here, just like a little Colgate one. Um, I have also got toothpaste, but Emily is toothpaste gal for the trip. So she's bringing the toothpaste. I'm bringing the shower gel. So these are all my products. So I think these can all go in here. I've got these two bottles spare. So if I can actually think of anything to put in these, I'm gonna because if there's anything like quite heavy that can go in here, then it might as well. Um, but I don't know whether there will be. I think everything's quite light. Do you know what it is? It's this. This needs to get definitely put into this. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> bag might be from Primark I'm not sure or my kit coat something I'm sure I got it like in a kit I'm sure it's from Primark though this is quite heavy I'm a bit concerned about this oh well um and then obviously we have all my skincare bag done obviously I need to put like all my um face cloths reusable cotton pads and stuff in there but i just need to wait until i've done all the washing because i haven't done all the washing so we're gonna pack makeup actually so 
this all needs narrowing down do you know what i mean guys this is like i need to decide what i'm taking and what i'm not but everything is in here for a reason do you know what i mean oh this is really good this is the fresh kombucha cleansing treatment so this is sort of like a cleanser that you use say if you just want to refresh your skin and you don't want to wash your face you just want to use a quick cotton pad literally amazing all the makeup that i've sort of thought about taking so i've only actually got one eyeshadow palette and this is the morphe and madison beer um palette it's got loads of shimmers in there it's got matte it's got black it's got dark brown it's got ni nice transition shade gold shimmers you know that sort of vibe so i just feel like this is the best palette for me to take this is a my kitco bag by the way guys so i'm just gonna pop that straight in there um, and then I like to go through everything in sort of like an order. So the first thing that I start off with is primer. So I've got two, I've gone and got the wrong primer. Do you know what, see, it's a good thing I'm doing this video because this is the wrong primer. So this is my favourite, favourite primer. This is the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer. This is great for oily skin like mine. It is the best oily skin primer ever, 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 ever. So I definitely need to take this away with me. So that is going... In the bag let's just move all this across so you can see what i'm packing um then we have a glowy primer i always like to take glowy primer away just in case this is the elemis superfood glowing priming moisturizer this is a small 20 mil one so i'm just going to pop that straight in there so color corrector always take one away with me just in case this is the p louise um base in the shade pretentious peach i use this underneath my eyes i use it as a cream blush so good so i can't literally can't live without that so i need to take it with me then we're moving on to sort of like foundation or base products now i don't really wear like a full coverage foundation when i go away um i love like a tinted moisturizer or something like that but to be honest i know myself and i just won't wear tinted moisturizer nine times out of ten all i end up wearing is concealer and cream bronzer but i want to take something away with me anyway my favorite at the moment is the laura mercier tinted moisturizer oil free but i've put this on this morning after doing a bit of sunbathing and i don't actually know whether this is going to be too light when i get out there so unless i can order like another shade um on next day delivery i'm not look fantastic i might do that i do have my nude sticks tinted cover foundation in 7.5 i really really like this this is a little bit darker than my laura mercier one so i might take this instead i think i'm going to do that and just leave my laura mercier one at home and get another shade um so then we're going to go on to concealer so the concealers that i've got are my anastasia beverly hills magic touch concealer really really good concealer guys love 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 this one and then we have my nars soft matte complete concealer love this one for when you go away it is matte but it's also really really creamy and blendable it's really beautiful um i love this when i go on holiday and in the uk as well um so i'm definitely going to be taking that with me i wear the shade ginger so i'm just going to go in with that i also double this up as an eye base as well again just because it's matte and I'm sweating and oily and all that good stuff. So definitely got to take that one with me. Um, cream bronzer. I have two. So I've got my Refi cream bronzer in tan. This one here. And then I've got my ABH cream bronzer in caramel. This one's a bit more orangey. Um, I like to have both. Sometimes I use like a cream bronzer all over the face. Sometimes I just use it for cream bronzer, but I do need those two options because one is more red than the other. Cream blush. So obviously I've got my P. Louise Pretentious Peach. And then I think I've literally only got one cream blush. Yeah, I have. This is the Refi Cream Blush in Malaya. It's sort of like a peachy sort of shade. This is so dirty. It actually really needs a clean. Powders. I'm only really taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Honey as sort of like a loose setting powder. I know this is going to match me. If I take my peachy loose powders, I'm not quite sure if they're going to match my skin. Um, but I know that this one will. So I'm definitely taking that. I'm also taking my Hourglass um ambient lighting powder diffused light 
this is absolutely gorgeous it's a beautiful glowy skin product so definitely have to take that with me also taking my Fenty Universal Blotting Powder, if you've not tried this, amazing. It's great for a night out, so this will probably be in my bag when we go out at night. Um, do I have any others? Yep, yeah, my Allure Mercier Secret Blurring Powder. Love this for the under eyes. This is the key to smooth under eyes. It's so good, so I've got to take that with me. Um, and that is it for powders. Bronzer, I'm just taking Matte Mineralized Skin Finish in dark fave ever blushes i'm taking laura mercier strawberry and i'm taking mac gingerly because i love that one and then i'm going to be taking my nars orgasm on the beach palette for obvious reasons how could i go on holiday without taking this i could go on about this palette in every single video but it's just so beautiful you all need it in your life it's literally amazing um and that sort of like acts as a highlighter as well so i'm gonna pack that I'm obviously going to be taking my P. Louise brow pencil in the shade Mochaccino. This is my favourite brow pencil of all time. And then I've got my Refi um, medium brow pomade and then my Refi brow sculpt. I did also put my Anastasia brow freeze in here, but I don't honestly think I'm going to take that. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with my faves. So these are actually going to go in the MAC pouch. I'm going to have like brows on one side, brows and eyes on the pink side and then lips on the orange side, I think. I am actually going to take both of my Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal um, liquid eyeshadows. These are beautiful and these are just like a summer dream. I can't not take those. So they can go in the eye section as well. A little mascara. I am having lash extensions, um, but in case I need my bottom lashes. This is the best mascara for bottom lashes. No transfer, super black. The wand is really thin. It grips onto every single lash. You need this in your life. And we've got all my eyeliners. So I think, honestly, I'm gonna take all of these. Um, They're all different, okay. So I've got sort of like a range. I've got like a super dark brown. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Liner. Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in Puppy Eyes. I've got two Colourpop cream gel liners in the shade Get Paid and Show Me. So these are like really nice bronzy shades that I can put in my eye on a night. So I'm just going to add those to the eye bag as well. Oh, I've got my Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. I think I'm going to take this because this is just such a vibe. I feel like if I just want a bit of shimmer, it's there. If I don't want it, it's fine. You know what I mean? So then we've got sort of like lip products left over. So... Oh, I just sort of like grabbed what I thought I would want. So lip liners, I'm definitely taking all three of these actually. Um, we've got Morphe, Spiffy, MAC Strip Down and Morphe. It's vintage. I always like to take an orange lip away with me. Um, sometimes I just want to do an orange lip, do you know what I mean? I feel like it elevates the look on one of the nights. So definitely taking all three of those so they can go in the orange bit. So MAC Lipstick in Neon Orange. This is one of the orange options, okay. Then we've got this from NARS, which is the Air Matte Lip Colour in Mad Rush. This is absolutely gorgeous as well. Oh, no, do you know what I have got? Bear with. P. Louise Lip Base in Unbutton. Sorry, guys, I feel like you're not coming. This is the best ever. <laughs> So, and then I've got Solo Nude, which is my favourite nude from P. Louise. So I think I'm definitely going to take both of those. So convenient, such good packaging as well. Um, sorry, Colourpop Oranges, you did not make the cut. I have two orange glosses here. I've got um, Colourpop Orchid and I've got Kiko 14. I think I'm going to go with the Colourpop one because I really like this formula. Um, I've got my two Colourpop... Um, these, are, these don't even have labels on anymore because they're so well used. These are the Just A Tint lip balms, like tinted lip balms. This is in Gimme S'more, so it's sort of like a like an everyday lip, this one. And then we have the Nude, which is Nude Beach. These are amazing for just like throwing on. So when we're at beach clubs and I want to sort of like look a bit put together, but not really, um, I will definitely be wearing these. Um, is that another red lip? Yep, I've got more red lips in here than nudes. And then I've got two of my favourite glosses of all time. This is the L'Oreal Plumping Gloss in the shade Saw. 
This is a dupe for the Dior Lip Maximizer. I've been wearing the Dior Lip Maximizer for about seven years now and I found a dupe, thank me later. And I'm also going to take this Colourpop uh, Luxe Lip Oil in Playa Vista. Favourite sort of like everyday nude. Obviously this is a bit lighter and this is a bit more brownie so i um, definitely going to take both of those. I don't have any setting spray. Um, I don't know if to get a mini setting spray off Look Fantastic before I go actually. I think that's something that I'm very partial to look into. Um, just because I don't want to take a full setting spray, do you know what I mean? So that has actually packed up really nicely in this bag. Um, I'm sure I'll think of some things that I want to take away with me before I go. So guys, we've got makeup, skincare, and body care. All packed up, ready to go to Ibiza on Tuesday night. Woohoo! We're actually going for like Friday morning, you know, the flight's at like half six Friday morning, but I'm saying it's Thursday night because we've got to get up at 2 a.m. to go down to the airport, so love that for me. The good thing about this is everything in here is under 100 mil, I think. Yeah, so this is 20 grams and everything else is under 100 mil, so... If it needs to go in my hand luggage, it can. Do you know what I mean? Like, if there's weight in my case is not great, that can go in my hand luggage because I actually don't really have that much to put in my hand luggage, to be honest. Also, guys, I have got things like hand sanitizer, anti-back wipes. They're all going in my hand luggage just so I can use them on the plane and stuff. Yeah, this is all my stuff packed and ready to go. I'll link most of it in the description box for you. Also, these bags are really easy to wipe. That's why I use the clear ones, just so you can see where stuff is and everything like that. Um, but yeah, guys, this is everything ready to go. All right, guys, so that's everything packed and ready. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.